every web developer roadmap in 2024, it's wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. So you better stick around and watch this whole video. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Guys, it's no secret. People are learning skills that they don't need to learn yet. It's no secret that companies are now looking for people with experience. It's always been like that, but now more than ever. So if you're watching any tutorials or watching a web developer roadmap, or you watching some type of video telling you, this is what you need to learn in 2024. The first thing you need to focus on is, Hey, how do I get experience with this? Yeah, yeah, this skill that you're telling me that I should learn the, you know, the Merge Stack, the React, the Node.js, the MongoDB, the, you know, Prisma, the Tailwind CSS, the Astro, all of this latest trendy stuff, the things that just keeps on getting views on YouTube. Before you go deep into that, you gotta ask and demand, but how am I gonna get experience with this? Because if I learn this, Right, And I invest the next six months learning all of this stack and learning a bunch of stuff, building a portfolio. Maybe it takes me a month or two to get it done. We're talking seven, eight months out of my life. And then guess what? I get no results. There's no jobs for me. Why? Because I got no experience. So if I'm going to go in, in this roadmap, you need to show me how I'm going to get experience before anything. Right? Don't tell me the full stack or this is no, 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 let's slow it down. Right. Let's go in and figure out how we're going to get experience as we go in and we learn every single skill that's in here. Okay. And it's because again, guys, companies need you to have experience. Even if you go in and you learn all of this skills, right? Guess what? When you apply to these jobs, you're also competing with every freaking person that wants to learn how to code right then on top of that every single person who just graduated college or university then on top of that you're also competing with everybody who just got laid off they all know the same stack they all going for the same type of job right and guess what the thing that differentiates everyone is who has experience and who don't so companies right now have the luxury to choose people that have experience they're like hey man shoot there's so many people that have experience and don't have a job shoot we, we getting a great deal right now okay so for you to stand out you're gonna need that experience okay you need to start thinking about skills that you can actually use to help small to medium-sized businesses those are the ones that are hiring right now people like you right not the guy that is on YouTube. He has four or five years, three years in the game, and he's giving you advice about how to do this. But guess what? That dude already has experience. These are the things that he likes. This is the things that he wants to go in and push to you. But you, who is a beginner, who just started the other day, guess what? That shit doesn't work for you because you need to build the experience, right? And also, too, those big companies are not hiring. So why am I going to go in and start learning all of those things when I really need to learn practical skills? OK, like straight up, there's like literally a couple of practical skills that you should learn. Right. Just right now, I'm just going to give you a little quick insight. Right. That can really help you. OK, number one, learn how to use CMS systems. This idea that people keep saying WordPress is dead, uh, Joomla is, is old school, Drupal, oh my God, AEM, I don't even know what that is, right? Guys, those are the things that people are actually gonna hire you for, right? To learn how to manage a website. That's the most basic job that you can get with web development, okay? You also have email development. Now, from there, you also have working with e-commerce companies right knowing some type of e-commerce platform like magento like shopify even wix right right now can actually help you land a position this whole stack this whole list of 
of skills that you got to learn. This is what you got to learn to be a web to is cap. Okay. It's all bullshit because there's no point to learn all the, all of that shit. If you're not going to be able to get those jobs, you don't want to be like some of the people that's in the comment section. That's like, yo, I've been doing this for 10 freaking months. Hey, I've been doing this for two years. The industry so saturated It's saturated when you go in, in the wrong path. So you got to keep that in mind. Now, if I want to go in and I want to start helping small businesses, right? So I can actually have something to show for, because when you go in and you go to any interview, the first thing they're going to ask you, what professional experience do you have? And this is where most people drop the ball and be like, uh, uh, um, uh, well, uh, I, 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 I got two Netflix clones and one Amazon clone and, and, but look, I'm, uh, I, I built everything with the latest and trendiest framework and we don't care about that. Show me what have you done for a client? Show me what you have done for a business, how you have actually helped this company grow their revenue. Have you built your own application? Have you gotten your own customers? Have you built some type of application that's solving a problem? Uh, 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 well, not really, man. I, they just told me to follow this roadmap, man. I thought all I needed was just to learn all this shit. It's cap. Okay. <laughs> I thought you yeah, would have learned by now. Okay. Again, I'm not the developer whisperer. It's not like I'm in here and I'm a genius and I got all the ideas. This is just logical shit. This is straight up just logical shit. If I'm going to go in and I'm going to hire somebody, right? And I have a whole list of people that I can choose from. I'm going to go in and hire the one that has actually done this before. Okay. I don't want to babysit nobody, especially if I've got to pay this person $80,000 and up. You should know how to do this thing. You should have experience. You should have some type of experience to do this because I'm paying you top dollar. I'm not paying you $10 an hour, $15 an hour. I'm paying you top dollar, 40, 50, $60 an hour. You should come here with some type of skills. And some type of experience so I don't have to babysit you. And you can produce right away. You know who has the budget right now to go in and take a risk on you? The small to medium sized business. For example, right? I'm a small business owner, right? If I'm hiring a junior developer right now, I'm going to go in and say, well, this guy has never done this before. He might have the skills, but I'm more comfortable giving him a fifty to $60,000 job with something simple as building emails or managing my website or helping me build my marketing list, right? Or um, setting up automations or maybe helping me with setting up my Google tags and my Facebook pixels so I can convert my, uh, you know, my audience and be able to purchase my products, etc. I'm more comfortable doing that then going in and saying, well, this guy just took a YouTube video and took a $10 course on Udemy, right? And then from there, I'm going to go in and give him $100,000. That don't make sense. It don't make sense to me as a business owner. Why would it make sense for anyone else? You get what I'm saying? This is just logical shit. I'm not giving you guys something out of this world. I'm just being transparent. This is what the life of a business owner is and how they will look at this okay now you have to go in and get this experience guys okay you have to go in and start thinking outside of the box do not follow any web developer roadmap if the first thing that they don't mention is how you're going to get experience and also too how every time that you learn the skill right what type of jobs you actually qualify for with those skills some of these guys don't even know those things Okay, they only know one one thing, one trick pony, React, uh, how to be a full stack developer with React, it's one trick ponies, okay? They're not giving you a solution. They haven't for at least two, three years, okay? And even longer than that. But before, we was in a market where companies were hiring and over hiring, right? So they were willing to take the risk 
to come in and start bringing more people in to help them produce. But guess what? Now people is not spending money. So those companies is like, hey, if people not spending money, why are we spending money on all these people? And we over here babysitting. Nah, get them out of here. Give them the boot. You know what I'm saying? That's just logical shit. It's business. What we call in the streets, business. <laughs> Sometimes we got to crack some jokes in here. But again, how do you get experience? You got to start learning practical skills. Okay. For anyone that's interested in learning practical skills and maybe need help right now, you want to get some results. I'm not trying to sell you a dream. I'm not trying to tell you, hey man, this is how you get a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar job as your first job. If you are comfortable with learning skills that can help you land a sixty-five to eighty-five thousand dollar job, starting, right? Not that you're a cap, that that's where you're gonna stay at. No, this is starting for you to get your foot on the door. Click on the link in the description. And yes, shameless plug, codingphase.com. I've been doing this for seven years, helping people get into the game right and i've been doing this for long enough that i know exactly what can help you and anybody else that's you know watching this thing here whoever gets to come to my platform codingphase.com or my youtube channel i want you to succeed right because this is why i created this channel for me i didn't create it for me to go in and become popular or become famous i created it to show people hey people like me can be developers here's my life here's my example that's it right people want me to teach them people want to ask me questions then i created codingphase.com because i can't do one-on-one -on -one with everybody i can go in and create a platform where everything is there all of my knowledge all of my information all of my research it's there in one platform but again you have to understand like i'm here to help so if that's something that you're interested in, you could check the description. If not, come back to me in a year from now when you don't get no results. All right. It's your boy, Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Peace.